In a forgotten village tucked away in the countryside, there lived a stoner named Max. Known for his reckless ways, Max's insatiable desire for an extraordinary high led him down a treacherous path. One fateful day, he stumbled upon a mysterious traveller who offered him a small pouch of rare and potent cannabis seeds. Tempted by the promise of an otherworldly experience, Max made a hasty decision and traded his mother's beloved cow for the alluring seeds. Eager to see the seeds' true potential, Max planted them in a secluded corner of the farm. But as days turned into weeks, the seeds grew into an enormous and monstrous cannabis plant that dominated the landscape. Its twisted branches reached for the sky, casting a haunting shadow over the surrounding fields. Driven by curiosity and a deep-rooted craving for the plant's potent buds, Max mustered up the courage to climb the colossal cannabis plant. As he ascended higher, he discovered a hidden realm within the canopy, a giant towering figure shrouded in an ethereal mist. The giant, a guardian of the cannabis realm, cultivated the plant with utmost care and reverence. Its eyes sparkled with wisdom and power as it tended the massive crop. Undeterred by the giant's presence, Max seized the opportunity to snatch some buds, stuffing them into his pockets. But as he made his descent, the giant's booming voice echoed through the air. You dare steal from the sacred realm of cannabis? Fear gripped Max's heart as the giant's wrath unfurled. The ground trembled beneath him as the giant reached out, a force of nature fueled by fury. Desperate to escape, Max sprinted through the dense foliage, the giant's thunderous footsteps closing in. Desperation consumed Max as he raced through the dense forest, the giant's thunderous footsteps shaking the ground beneath him. The giant's anger fueled his pursuit, and it seemed there was no escape from his rock. Branches whipped against Max's face, leaving bloody trails in their wake. The forest became a labyrinth, with twisting paths and ominous shadows that seemed to taunt him. His lungs burned and his legs threatened to give out, but he pushed forward, driven by fear and a desperate will to survive. The giant's roars grew closer, its massive strides closing the distance between them. Max's heart pounded in his chest, his every instinct screaming at him to find a way out. But as the minutes turned into an eternity, the forest seemed to conspire against him, leading him deeper into its treacherous embrace. Just as Max's hope began to waver, he stumbled upon a forgotten clearing. Moonlight pierced through the dense canopy, casting an eerie glow upon a weathered stone altar in the center. With no other options left, Max felt an inexplicable pull toward the altar, a glimmer of a chance for salvation. With a burst of energy, Max leapt onto the altar, hoping for some respite from the giant's pursuit. To his surprise, the ancient stones glowed with a mysterious power, illuminating the clearing with an ethereal radiance. The air crackled with a palpable energy, and Max knew this was his final chance to escape. Gathering his remaining strength, Max called upon the spirits of the forest, whispering a desperate plea for their aid. In response, the very trees seemed to come alive, their branches intertwining to form a makeshift bridge leading out of the clearing. Without hesitation, Max sprinted across the precarious bridge, his heart racing with a mix of anticipation and dread. The giant's deafening roars echoed behind him, growing louder with each passing second. But just as he reached the other side, the bridge trembled and crumbled under the colossal weight of the pursuing giant. Max's heart sank, his escape route severed before his eyes. Left with no other choice, he plunged into the dark unknown, diving into a nearby ravine. The fall was perilous, each moment feeling like an eternity as Max tumbled through the darkness. His body collided with rocks and roots, pain searing through his limbs. But through sheer determination, he somehow managed to cling to the edge of a steep cliff, mere inches away from a treacherous drop. Panting heavily, Max peered over the edge, his eyes widening at the sight below. A roaring river, its rapids crashing against jagged rocks. The river offered a slim chance of survival, but it was the only path left to escape the wrath of the giant. Summoning every ounce of courage, Max let go of the cliff's edge, free-falling towards the treacherous river below. The icy water engulfed him, its fierce current threatening to drag him under. But Max fought against the relentless force, swimming with all his might, propelled by the instinctive drive to survive. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Max emerged from the churning waters gasping for air. He had escaped the clutches of the giant, left to recount the harrowing tale of his narrow escape. From that day forward, 
Max carried the scars, both physical and emotional, as a reminder of the dangers that lurked in his pursuit of forbidden pleasures. The forest remained haunted, a place of peril and lurking darkness. And though he had escaped the giant's wrath, Max knew that the memory of that night would forever haunt his dreams, a chilling reminder of the perils that awaited those who dared to challenge the forces beyond their comprehension.